Hello my loves, welcome back to another vlog. Hope you are doing very well. I don't really have any particular plan for this video. I feel like it's the beginning of a lot of different things, but I don't know whether it's going to be my next vlog or this one that you'll start seeing things happen but before we do find out what's going on in this video I do just want to give a very quick thank you to our sponsor of today's video Ana Luisa. So you guys will know that I am obsessed with Ana Luisa. I'm always wearing their jewellery. I have their jewellery in right now. These earrings I wear them constantly because Ana Luisa is an affordable, sustainable jewellery brand whose focus is to bring sustainable jewellery at reasonable prices. So they do make sure to keep a focus on sustainability through their source of materials, their production, everything like that. I have been wearing Ana Luisa pieces for well over a year now and I've never had a problem with them. Like I said, I have these earrings in constantly and that includes overnight, in the shower, everything like that and they have never done me wrong. They are just my absolute go-to now and they have so many nice pieces that could both be a great gift I know that in the US Mother's Day is coming up so these would make really lovely gifts and there are so many things to choose from that I'm sure you'll be able to find something or even for yourself to have some minimal everyday wear that you know is going to last and not kill the environment in the process. I do have some new pieces to show you in this video however I did specifically get these for all of my other piercings that I've gotten but <laughs> they have not yet healed. Unfortunately I can't show them on because they don't fit my normal lobe piercings either because of how big my lobes are compared to the rest of my ear but hopefully I can give you a good indication because we have these teeny tiny red studs. I don't know how close I will need to get to show these accurately. They really do just look like tiny dots on cameras but I think that these will look so nice in my third lobe piercing or even one of my upper ones. They're so dainty but so eye-catching as well. I cannot wait to wear them. And then I do of course have some more hoops. These ones are teeny tiny so I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it properly against my nails but uh we have these teeny tiny hoops which are basically the same as these ones that I always wear but a size smaller so I'll have another one in here. And I do also have this tiny hoop as well which I'm trying to hook on my finger to show you accurately but it just has a little orange gem on it that will hang down and look really cool. So lots of teeny tiny dainty pieces and I'm so excited to just deck out my entire ear in Ana Luisa jewellery. And if you are wanting to do the same or get a gift or just deck yourself out with a whole new jewellery collection then Ana Luisa do currently have a buy one get one 40% off offer. So definitely check out the link below. See if there's anything you fancy. I'm sure you'll find something because having a good old browse through you can see so many different styles and pieces that I'm sure you would love. So again do check out the link below. And thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. So as for what I'm going to be reading in this video, I do have two books that I'm hoping to make my way through. So I've been working on A Strange Hymn for a while. However, this <laughs> is a very slow work in progress. I haven't really picked it up, not because I'm not enjoying it, but just I haven't been wanting to like physically use my eyeballs to read recently. I've been very busy, very tired and that's just where I'm at. I'm not going to give too detailed a synopsis because I feel like I've been mentioning this book in so many videos already but this is the fantasy romance series that follows the bargainer. We have Siren who has lots of debts to repay to the bargainer. He comes to claim them and she ends up being pulled into a fairy investigation of sorts. So hopefully I'll actually make some decent progress in this one but in the meantime I am going to be starting The Bone Witch by Erin Chepeco because I'm going to be listening to this one on audiobook. Now I don't actually know too much about this one so I'll read out what it says on the back. This one says, Tia is different from the other witches in her family. Her gift for necromancy makes her a bone witch who are feared and ostracised in the kingdom. But theirs is a powerful elemental magic that can reach beyond the boundaries of the living and of the human. Great power comes at a great price, forcing Tia to leave her homeland to train under the guidance of an older, wiser born witch. There, Tia puts all her energy into becoming an usher, learning to control her elemental magic and those beasts who will submit to no other force. And Tia must be strong, stronger than she even believes possible. Because war is brewing in the Eight Kingdoms, war that will threaten the sovereignty of her homeland and threaten the very survival of those she loves. I picked this up because I've been meaning to read it for a very long time and I'm very into witchy stuff at the minute, so I'm hoping this will be all of the dark witchy vibes that 
I am expecting. So with that being said, I know that tomorrow I'm going on a kind of moody beachy walk. I say moody because it's a Scottish beach and I can't imagine it being too um, gloriously sunny and warm, but I'll show you that if I do end up going and any other shenanigans I'm getting up to. I do think that this week is going to involve me basically doing a lot of things that I've been procrastinating doing for a long time. So building some bookshelf extensions and just random little bits and bobs like that. <laughs> Boy, we are looking a little rough right now, but it's about 11 p.m. and I have had one hell of a day, so I just thought that I'd sit down all cozy in my hoodie with a cup of tea and tell you a bit about it. I have not long been home from an event. This week it has been the start of something new. It feels so right. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> it's been the start of what is soon to be a very busy period and I've been stressed out as a kind of knock-on effect of that not because I am overly busy like I'm managing it fine but I think just because it's been a good few years since I have also had events and things on top of you know standard work busy it feels like a lot it feels like a lot after so long of nothing so now that you know events and such are opening again it's just like whoa this is what it used to be like <laughs> But I did go to an event this evening for Hex by Jenny Fagan. The lovely folks over at Toppings & Co very kindly gave me a complimentary ticket, which I never thought would be a thing that happened. But yeah, they gave me a free ticket to go. So I went and I really, really enjoyed it. You probably have seen recently that I absolutely loved Hex. It's one of my favorite recent reads. Such a tiny book with such a powerful punch. And I just, it's been living in my head rent free ever since. And so it was just fascinating hearing Jenny Fagan talk about it, talk about Scottish witchy history, her process of writing the book and also giving us some sneak peeks into books that she has upcoming that haven't been announced yet and things like that. So it was just fascinating listening to her talk. She had some wonderful, very odd stories. Um, and I think she is just a fascinating person to listen to. So very glad to have attended that and I cannot thank Toppings enough for extending an invite to me. Also at the event, I met Michelle, one of my patrons. So hi, Michelle. Thank you for saying hello. It made my day. I have been quite stressy today. I was in a bit of a grumpy mood just in general. So it really did make my day to say hello to you. Apologies if I seemed startled <laughs> or just a little bit awkward. I never expect people to recognize me in person. <laughs> if anybody is trying to get my attention in person, I automatically assume that something's gone wrong. So <laughs> it always takes me a moment to kind of click and understand what's happening. So I feel like you will have been able to see the moment of recognition on my face when I realized. <laughs> But it was lovely to say hello and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the event as much as I did. Now I am here, I am home and quite glad for it because my body is aching, I am cold and I am tired. So, so I thought I'd give you a reading update. I haven't been doing too much reading recently just because I have been so busy and that's making me tired. So all of my free time is going towards sleeping basically, but I am 
currently on chapter 13 of A Strange Hymn, so about 100 pages in. I really wanted to be further in with this by now. In fact, I wanted to finish this by now, but life happens. I also wanted to read more of this tonight, but as I said, it's already 11 p.m. So I am kind of tempted to see if I can get an audiobook for this because I think audiobooks are my way to go currently because I do want to consume these stories. It's just that my physical energy is basically non-existent right now. So I don't know, I might swap to an audiobook. I might not because it will be a quick read when I actually do just sit down and read. But I'm really enjoying this one. It did take me a minute to get back into it to be fair because I forgot how colloquial the language was in here. It's a very modern day, sarcastic sort of writing style and I always find it kind of jarring at first because I'm used to, I don't know, I just don't read a lot of fantasy that has like modern day slang and stuff in it. So that did throw me and it did take me a while to get back used to it. But now that I'm back into it, I've got no problem with that. I'm enjoying just seeing Callie and the Bargainer just get along with each other, get used to each other, see them try to get used to their relationship in this new situation where they're kind of living together, and just figuring out how to interact with each other on a daily basis. And we're also doing some more exploring of the Fey world in this book too. So at the minute, I just feel like I'm enjoying a little tour around the world. Nothing really is happening so far. So I imagine it's all about to kick off it pretty soon and I feel like once I hit that point I'll not be able to stop reading. <laughs> and I think I also mentioned it at the beginning of this vlog as well but I did also pick up The Bone Witch via audiobook. I'm about halfway through this one. I am enjoying it but I don't feel like I have too much more to say on it currently because I am just taking in the story and you know listening to it. <laughs> Sometimes I struggle with books like that because I feel like I should have more to say but sometimes you just have a story and enjoy it and that's that. I do really like the way that this one is told because we keep kind of switching between perspectives just a little bit and we almost have a before and after situation going on so I imagine it could be quite confusing if you were listening to the audiobook without the book and didn't pick up on that initially because it's not entirely clear. Some of the voices do change but I feel like the time jumps wouldn't necessarily be too clear via audiobook by itself but it was fine for me. I'm not having any trouble following along with it. I am just enjoying the story and enjoying learning how this magic of necromancy works and seeing people's interactions with that, their engagements and seeing them try to get past the prejudice that comes with that and the fear. I just really love reading about darker types of magic so looking forward to seeing it where this one goes too. I feel like I'll have more to say when I'm further into it. <laughs> Cue the weekend and my very sleepy self finally going on an outing to go and get the storage boxes and jars that I have been needing for a little while now. I do usually just recycle things but I haven't really had any new things to recycle for storage recently and they've all just been the wrong sizes, things like that. So I finally got around to collecting some and here you can see me doing the very random task of peeling all of my oranges when I buy them because otherwise I will not eat them. I know that sounds very tedious, but for some reason it just works in my brain. If I peel all of the oranges in one go and keep them within an airtight container, then not only do they last a lot longer, but I will actually eat them instead of them going to waste. Because for some reason, if I have to individually peel them every day, then I just won't eat them. <laughs> And then for some reason, I also decided to randomly buy myself some yellow roses. I don't usually buy flowers because, I don't know, I just prefer to see them outside. <laughs> I won't pick them because I would prefer them to keep growing and things like that, but these were already in the supermarket and I've just been really attracted to yellow flowers recently, I think because it's spring and we've got daffodils around and things like that. They've just really been making me smile and I love seeing the pop of colour, so I saw these in the supermarket and just decided to pick them up for once. So here you can see me just trimming them down, making sure they fit and that they're healthy and everything. And these have actually ended up becoming very useful Instagram props. So um, also a productive purchase as well as one that's just aesthetically pleasing. So these have made me really happy just having a tiny pop of colour next to my desk as I work. So yeah, I'm really pleased I did end up getting those.
and I finally got around to building my bookshelf extensions. I have had these shelves since January and I have just been procrastinating building them and then it turns out I needed to exchange them and go back to Ikea which is not an easy feat when you don't have a car but one of them was damaged so I did have to exchange it before I could even build them and finally we are here and I'm very glad that I have finally built them because it does mean that I have so much more room on my bookcase now. I will never get over how high these ceilings are in this flat because I've been able to add bookshelf extensions and I would still be able to add another level if I really wanted to. I probably won't because I would be terrified of the bookcase just toppling over even if they are attached to the wall but, but yes, the extensions are finally built and it is so satisfying just to have so many books on one wall. And for anybody who is concerned about me climbing a ladder by myself, <laughs> don't worry, I was not harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> Good morning! It is Friday the 8th of April and I have a few things to show you. I have a wrap up of a book and also some pretty books to show you because I have had some exciting mail this week. In the mail this week I have received both Fairy Loot's first adult book only subscription for the month of March which had a Dark Academia theme and also the Broken Bindings first subscription as well. So I thought I'd show you, if you don't want to see any of these then skip ahead, I'll put a timestamp on the screen so that you can skip ahead and avoid spoilers if you are waiting on either of these. I think by the time this video goes up most people should have them so hopefully it's not too much of an issue but starting it with the Fairy Loot book, this by the the way won't be a review if you don't know. I do work for Fairy Loot so this is a perk of the job for me but I just thought I would show you it because I have been so excited for this book because the very first adult book for Fairy Loot was The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake and I have been so excited for this because I adore this book. I absolutely love it. So I read the self-published version before it got picked up by Tor. And now we have this beautiful edition. So this is an alternative colorway for the cover. So the usual cover is black and we have this beautiful white one. Lots of foiling as always. We have this really cool design on the spine. And then we have these sprayed edges with the sword and everything on and then underneath we have this foiling with the title on and inside we also have some character art and papers. So I have been so eagerly anticipating the delivery of this book because I knew it was coming and now it's here and I'm just, oh, I love this book so much. <laughs> I will actually be going to an event for Olivia Blake as well so you'll probably see that in my next vlog but yeah I just, this book. <sighs> and then as I mentioned I do also have the Broken Bindings first subscription. So the Broken Bindings subscription is a little bit different from your usual subscription boxes because it focuses on completing series. So they will create matching hardback editions of smaller series like trilogies and such so that you can actually have a whole series rather than just like the first book in lots of different series. So they were very kind in sending me this box and I'm so excited. They do announce which books they are beforehand. So this will just be seen it in person but I am thrilled to have gotten this because this series is one that I knew I would be reading at some point soon. I think after reading Robin Hood for Elder Ling Along this might be the next series for Catch Up Book Club just an FYI. Not confirmed but it's looking like a high possibility. So if we open this on up, we have it. Oh it's wrapped! How cute is that? That must have taken ages to wrap all of these, Jesus Christ. I almost don't want to ruin the packaging. <laughs> oh, this looks really cool. So this is The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie, the first book in the First Law Trilogy. So this is the cover that you'll probably recognise. However, we also have sprayed edges. And if you open this on up, We have this incredible foil design underneath. But look at that. Oh my goodness. That is just incredible. <laughs> this is also signed inside. 
and apparently I have number 1448 of 1500 numbered copies. I just, I cannot get over this foiling. Foiling on hardcovers is like my favourite customization that you can have on a special edition so very excited that I will have these editions of the series because they're just gonna look so stunning. So as I said as soon as I have finished reading Hob which is sooner than um, you would think because I've only got one series left in The Realm of the Elderlings which is so scary to think about but as soon as we're done this is probably going to be next up on the agenda. Joe Abercrombie, we're coming for you. <laughs> But thank you so much to the folks at Broken Binding for sending this and of course I will leave a link to them down below. They have announced what their next series is going to be which is The Ninth Rain. I don't know what the series is called but I know that the first book is called The Ninth Rain. So if you are interested go and have a look. And they do also have a lot more fantasy and sci-fi books. They are an independent bookshop that specialises in fantasy and sci-fi so I'm sure if you watch watching my channel you're probably going to be a fan of that website. <laughs> oh so many pretty books. Can't contain myself. <laughs> And so, to kind of wrap up this vlog, I did finish The Bone Witch. I'm still about 200 pages into A Strange Hymn, so I haven't quite finished that, but I am really enjoying it. Don't really have anything too much to say because I'm just having a good time reading it, but The Bone Witch. I finished this and I rated it three stars. I was a little bit underwhelmed, to be honest, which I'm quite sad about because one, this has beautiful cover. I absolutely love the covers of this series, but I just don't think I'm gonna be continuing the series because even though this one was fine, it was just fine. I have other priorities. And honestly, I'm just gonna read out the review that I put on Goodreads because I don't have too much to say about it beyond what I said in that review. So, if Goodreads would like to load at some point soon. So my review on Goodreads says, honestly, I just found this one to be fine. That's all, I have little to say on it besides it was slow and I wasn't invested in the characters enough to make up for that. I also expected more of an atmosphere with its emphasis on necromancy and monsters, but alas, it was non-existent. It wasn't bad, the writing was lovely in its descriptions, but otherwise I'll probably just move on from it very quickly. And yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at with it, so I have no problem with slow books. In fact, I would say that a lot of my favourite books are considered pretty slow going for a lot of readers, so usually that's not an issue. However, I just did not care about the characters in this book to make up for that, as I said in the review. And I wasn't really invested in anything else either, the plot, anything. <laughs> About 70% of this book is just seeing our main character Tia train to almost become a respectable person. <laughs> It's very much about learning how to pour tea and seem presentable and things like that. Which is just not what I expected going into it because it does just kind of mention the necromancy and like all of this dark power but you see very little of that within this book. And I feel like when it comes to quote unquote darker stories I do need there to be a very strong atmosphere of like showing that whereas this just didn't really do it for me so I was a bit disappointed in this. I thought I would really love it but unfortunately not. So like I said, three stars. Wasn't awful. It was just fine. Probably not going to continue the series though because I have other things to do with my time. <laughs> but with that being said, I am going to end this vlog here. My next one, however, will continue directly from this for reasons that you will see in that video next week. So if you made it this far into the video, then leave a wave emoji because of the beach that we saw earlier in this video. Do let me know how you're doing, what you're currently reading, have you found any new favourite books so far in April? Keep me updated on everything like that and again I do just want to say thank you to Anna Louisa for sponsoring this video. Do be sure to check out the link down below. Get yourself a gift, get your mum a gift, get anybody you know a gift. Why not? Treat yourself. We love being decked out in jewellery on this channel. So with that being said I shall love you and leave you and let you get on with the rest of your day so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then remember to leave a like and a comment so let me know that you're here. If you're not subscribed already then please consider doing so. Down in the description box you'll find the information to everything I mentioned in this video all of my social media and other bookish stuff as well so be sure to check that out if you haven't already but for now I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next time with a new video bye